palm And when I find it, my God, what a sight I know that I'll be eating some swamp cabbage tonight selected these trees for two reasons as we were coming through the woods. We selected them because the, uh, they're open and they're good for us to have this view to be able to take a picture of. We also selected them because they are the, within the height range that you're looking for. A cabbage palm has, uh, has a growth plate at the base of where the green palm fronds are coming out. It's about the length of your uh, axe handle. There's a place where you can see where it will swell. This is true on any cabbage palm, any sable palm, whether it be a tall one such as that over there. This out and we want to hit it where you would hit, like with a baseball bat, your strike zone, where you can hit it. So that's the uh, selection criteria. This tree is probably, I'd say, eight years old. It might be a little bit older than that because this is not very uh, uh, good soil here for it. It's a wet a little bit more often than some of them up on the sandy ridges. The cabbage axe is special in that it's made out of a, a piece of steel from a saw blade, an old saw blade that's cut and that's, uh, that's a thinner piece of steel, real good steel that holds an edge real well and he, uh, he welds a head onto, uh, onto that and then sticks it on a handle and why that's important is because it's thin and a bigger broader place and you, you can swing it and you can pop and when we get started you'll be able to see that what you're trying to do is to pop you want a little snap with your wrists and and you you're choosing your places that you cut uh, very carefully because you don't want to beat yourself against the tree you want to hit it as few times as possible you find it you find the way that you want to pop it out and so you saw how I measured it and it, so I'm going to be cutting it uh, horizontally where my hand is at the bottom here. I'm going to cut it vertically before that and so I need it where I can get into it. And so each one of these palm fronds has, a, uh, has two uh, bases to it. So one, uh, two. It takes Two, to properly take these out, it takes two hits for every one of these, and you want to take out as few of them as possible, but when you turn and start to hit, you don't want your hands jobbing up and into that. That's why I'm wearing gloves and long sleeves. I took it in this, and this is the first time I've used this ax that Frank gave me for Christmas. Thank you, Frank. You'll notice that as I do this, I'm reaching in and clearing stuff out because I don't want my axe head to be caught up in something that I can't, so it gets boxed up. Go keep a sharp axe handy to cut your cabbage palm. You can learn to fix it no matter where you're from. Recipes all over, some easy and some hard. Just don't cut a swamp cabbage if it's in your neighbor's yard. Swamp cabbage, oh how I love the taste. Swamp cabbage, not a mouthful will I waste. The, the Indians probably learned from the bears. My dad has actually seen uh, a, a black bear in the Everglades climb up into one of these and pull and pull and jerk it out and pull it out by the uh, by the head and the Indians probably saw bears do something like that and figured out how to cut it and the uh, settlers down here probably learned that from from the Indians and the bears too what I'm doing right now excuse me what I'm doing right now is I'm laying a bed I mean uh, putting a zipper in it the what I've done is I've come in I've got it clear down to where I'm going to be pulling it out and now I've picked a place on each side and I've just put a zipper on two sides of it. I'm probably going to pull this one on out so I can get to it. And then this one right here, so that zipper. And so I'm going to do a vertical zipper down to where I believe that it's swelling out 
where the growth plate the palm is. tree grows from a growth plate and the the nubile uh, palm fronds start right in the middle in the center and then push up through the middle see the spike I don't know if you can watch that. see these spikes right here I don't know if you can actually see that where I'm pushing right there uh -huh. those come up and open out and open and as they come to the outside 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 turn brown die fall off as detritus leave the stobs through the boots I, I now have put the zippers in it two zippers I put two in with an axe uh, typically uh, I know people that do them with a chainsaw that just put one in they get a little bit deeper I don't want to get in there and not be able to pull it out and so now again I've measured I'm looking for a place where it's starting to swell where it's going to be the, the bottom of the heart and that's where I'm going to go ahead and hit it and this feels like a little bit high actually I did it correctly well I'm actually low I can tell that because we're gonna have a big plug right there so I'm gonna go ahead when I do it too too low it ends up breaking off up into the middle of it if I do it too high it cuts off the good part and so what I see when I pull into here is that I've got a, a real big part that's the vascular system that's bringing the water up to it right here you can almost let me see if I can get a piece you can look at I don't know if you'll be able to see the little dots in there that are the capillaries that bring the water up to it because this is a growth plate it brings the water up to the base of it this is gathering Sun through photosynthesis and then bringing it all together right here at this heart at this bottom which is the growth plate and that's the factory for converting uh, the uh, the energy into matter. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. Yeah. So I'd been way low. If I if I had been hasty and just went at it and went at it, it wouldn't have come out. Now. I've got it here. I'm going to reach up and I'm going to pull. What you end up with here is something. This is a very thin, small cabbage because it's a little bit poorly. And what you're going to see from this is that this capillary stuff that brings the the water up all that's bitter you don't want that if you get that in your cabbage pot you will end up uh, ruining a pot of cabbage and so you're going to bring that down and you can just start to begin to see the circles just in a second here I'm going to show you right there see how that's starting to show that's the very base of the heart now for storage and you can store these for a couple of days maybe up to a week if you do it in in the shade for storage you want to leave that that I just cut off on there that serves as a plug helps keeping it uh, fresh if we're gonna eat it right away we'd bring it down to right here this is ready to be carried out of the woods and I'm just going to pop Not a bad cabbage. We didn't waste it. Out on the back roads in this old Florida land, always in search of that perfect cabbage palm stand. And when I find it, oh Lord, what a beautiful sight! I know that I'll be eating some swamp cabbage tonight. Oh, how I love the taste Swamp cabbage 
not a mouthful will I weigh. I get so damn excited, I just cannot be calm. When I eat those tasty morsels made from the heart of the farm. Cabbage right there. Good fat cabbage. If you choose your cabbage on high ground, they're fatter. If you get them near a pond or something, they don't have to absorb the water that keeps keep themselves alive. So on the high ground they do. So you cut them on high ground and you have a good cabbage. Thank you. Now if you're ever out in the, in the woods uh, looking for cabbages to cut and you see anybody dressed like this, don't mess with the cabbages. <laughs> Swamp cabbage! Driving Florida back roads out in the breeze and bomb. Always in search of that perfect cabbage palm. And when I find it, my God, what a sight. I know that I'll be eating some swamp cabbage tonight. Swamp cabbage, oh how I love the taste. Swamp cabbage, not a mouthful will I waste. I get so damned excited, it's so hard to be calm When I eat those tasty morsels made from the hearts of palm So keep a sharp axe handy to cut your cabbage palm You can learn to fix it no matter where you're from Recipes all over, some easy and some hard Just don't cut a swamp cabbage if it's in your neighbor's yard Swamp cabbage, oh how I love the taste Swamp cabbage, not a mouthful will I waste I get so damned excited, it's so hard to be calm When I eat those tasty morsels made from the hearts of palm that good swamp cabbage, I eat it in a bowl. And oh, that good swamp cabbage, it sure does take its toll. It'll get your motor started with the sound of a broom. And once you get all cranked up, you can surely clear a room. Swamp cabbage, oh, how I love the taste. Swamp cabbage, not a mouthful will I waste. I get so damned excited, it's so hard to be calm When I eat those tasty morsels made from the hearts of palm When I eat those tasty morsels made from the hearts of palm